Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Guna Lee with me. We've just beaten Leicester City at home 4-2. Now, Guna Lee was sitting on the positive side. He's, he calls it all, all the so far on the match day live. Things are looking very positive right now, Guna Lee. Listen, that whole game, we were in cruise control. Like, it was easy. It was pretty much a thing where when we wanted to score the goals, we did it. Mm. And probably that's probably my only real negative is the fact that when we kind of was not attacking... Mm -hmm. We just kind of were like laying back and we weren't kind of going forward and trying to get more goals. When we obviously conceded the two goals, we knew that we kind of had to kind of get some sort of assurance in the game. And that's yeah. when we scored obviously the third and fourth goal. That That's the only negative. But apart from that, everything else was really, really good. We obviously conceded the two goals, which is obviously a negative. Um, and I'll get onto that in a bit. But... Jay, Jesus, man, like the guy is, he's different. Mm. He's different. Is it making you feel set? like, because I know what it's like, we know what it's like as Arsenal fans, like we can't, we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves, but it feels, seeing him in the Arsenal shirt, taking on players, creating chances, mm. you saw when he pinned the defender, rolled him, mm. the dink, it, it feels different. Mm. Do you know what it is? It's, it's even more so because of what we had last season with Lacazette, right. obviously what that ended up with. To now having someone who's diminutive, who can move, who creates space, who scores his own goals, he starts a move and he gets into the box. It's just wonderful to see. Yeah. And I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling positive. And I really want to take that into the next, I think Turkish spoke about it as well, the next four or five games. I know we've got some games where we can pick up those three points and we just need to continue with what we're doing. Credit to Arteta because there were some players that I weren't as high on. I'm going to name him today, Xhaka. Yeah. Honestly, close to a man of, the, man of the match performance. Really, really good. Scored a goal, got an assist. And for me, he's... He, I don't want to forget what he's done because he's got a lot of red cards. He's had games where... And even in the first five minutes, he could have made us concede a goal. But I don't know. There's something with him where I feel like he's he's growing. He's getting that kind of... He's 28 now. He's getting that kind of captain ownership back in the team. And he's manhandling, manhandling teams to kind of say, do you know what? I'm going to take that role. I don't want players to come into my position. I don't want Tillemans to come in and take my position. And credit to him because he was really good today. Well, is there a place in this Arsenal side, Lee, for Granit Xhaka? Even if we do bring Tillemans, you're saying about how much he's progressed. Arteta fund the best out of him, maybe putting a bit more forward. Is there still a place for Granit Xhaka? Could he be a squad player? Could he stay? Or do you think it's time for him to move on? No, look... Whether or not he needs to stay or whether he needs to go, we do need an upgrade on Jacker because mm -hmm. he's had a good performance. He's had some really good performances over the last couple of months, maybe. It's not, not amazing, but over the last couple of months, I say that he's, he's improved and he's got better. But we do need a more mobile, more of a, a player that can kind of really connect between the defence and the attack and also that can really just keep that ball, keep, yeah. keep it ticking over. And I think someone like Tillemans, maybe even someone like a Savage who does offer something different because he scores goals, he can kind of be that real box to box is what we kind of need. You did see today, obviously, Tillemans and he wasn't a shining light. Yeah. But... I'm not going to judge him on one game because I've seen what he's been doing. I saw what he did last week and I saw the real positive things that he can add towards this team to kind of take us to that next to that next to that next level. So he improves his Arsenal side, do you think? He does he, he does improve us, but I will say I have to give Jacques his credit okay. because he's been really really good. But listen, I need to go back to my Brazilian boy. Yeah. He Yeah, pick, 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 up, pick, up, pick up the phone. Listen, the the guy he, he's just sourcing. Yeah. He's just sourcing on that pitch. He looks happy. He's playing happy. And the whole ethos, the whole kind of mood at Arsenal mm. looks good. One thing I'm going to say as well is I really like the fact that we don't have to land Saka no more. Yeah. It's really nice that we can go into a game and we know that the actual opposition have, they need to concentrate on other things. Mm. Whether it's the defence with Saliba and G Gabriel that can obviously kind of be those attacking threats from corners or set pieces. We now know that we can have long shots from the likes of Xhaka and, and, and Partey, maybe not so as not, not as often, but they can do yeah. it. And then we've got Martinelli on fire. We've got Jesus on fire. And then we've got Saka that can obviously re do really good things. So for me, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling optimistic. And as I said, we were in cruise control. Cruise control for sure. And I can feel the energy. I know how excited you are. Oh, before the camera started rolling, I know that feeling. Just quickly, let's just highlight, just because I know you want to speak about it before we go, the, the two goals we did concede. Mm -hmm. um, yes, it's seen as a negative. I mean, Rams out his near post and the other one obviously had own goal from William Saliba. Mm -hmm. um, just just your thoughts and words on that because it, it, some people would look to Ramsdale, but what are your thoughts on those two own if, goals? If you, actually, two goals? if you actually analyse it, I will say that the first goal that we conceded from Saliba Yes, he was he was doing his job. I feel like, I think uh, Ramsdale was a little bit too hasty when he was coming out. But look, 
one thing that's really good about um, these two games that we played is there's things that we can improve on. Right. We've played really well against Crystal Palace for the first 35 minutes. And in la this game that we played today, we did well for the majority of the game. And there's still things that we can improve on. There's nothing that Arteta can sit at home and say, do you know what? We can just keep playing the way. We know that we can bring players in. We know that we can improve. So that's what you want. Yeah. You want to you want to see that progression. You want to see things that we can work on on a training ground. Otherwise, it kind of just gets a bit mundane, the same thing. You go into a game a little bit lax. So for Arteta, he knows he's got things to work on. And it's credit to him. He's changed the whole Arsenal ethos and the way that we're playing yeah. at this moment. Ramsdale wasn't great today. He didn't cover himself in glory. A bit of kicking was going out. But again, he did do some really good things in the first five minutes. He saved us from the opportunity that Xhaka kind of let Fofana get through on. And I know he did some really good kicking because there was a chance in his first half as well. He kicked it out. Jesus kind of controlled it, mm -hmm. spun Evans and was one on one. And unfortunately, he didn't get that goal. But look, I just want to make sure that we're not getting too carried away, even though I am getting carried away because I'm feeling positive. Yeah. I am feeling good. I'm feeling and happy. And so you should. But I do want to just make sure that we kind of have things that we've got to work on because at the end of the day, as much as cruise control it was, we actually did concede two sloppy goals and it was 2-1 and it was 3-2. And those are precarious kind of like um, score lines yeah. that we know that in the last previous couple of seasons that we've been struggling with and we would have conceded. So long may it continue. We're moving on. And as my boy Turkish said, we're moving in silence. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform. So check it out. <laughs>